Hello and welcome to Videti Online Tutorial. Today we will show you how to set up knives on the synchro line. The first stuff you have to do, like you can see on the film, is to take away the protections and to get free edges to the cutting chamber. The first part you have to take away on the front carton, then you have to go to open the cutting chamber, it means to bring down the grid holder so you can look in and see if the mill is free and empty and if it is not please clean it by the use maybe of a vacuum cleaner to have a no disturbing material in between the knives. After cleaning and front opening, you can go to the back side. In some models, you have to take away one, on some models, two of cutters. It depends about the size of your machine. In that film, we have the 530 line, so it is to take away two front carters and one in the back. Be careful not to lose the screws, you will need them to rebuild up altogether. It's important to put back the carters, no sense to work with the open machine. Now you can bend slowly and carefully back the dosing hopper. and start with loosing the bolts which keep tighten the fixed knife which is protected by a knife holder. So use a torque wrench, you have a better power and open bolt by bolt. This maintenance you have to do, it depends about your cable, maybe once a week, maybe twice a week, and if you have really hard, rough cable, can happen also once a day. As better your knives are sharp and set up, as better the result of the machine will be, and as higher the quality of your copper you can sell later on. Now we have the position that we took away the bolts and the knife holder start to move. In general it is simple to get access to this cutting chamber. You have to get used to and you have to find the right position so the job is easy to do. Now the bolts are out and you can start to take out the holder which keep down the knife and then you can slowly take out the knife. Control the knife, check it up. When you want to rebuild it in because it's sharpened or new, check exactly the position like shown that the cutting edge is looking up. Then insert the knife in the basement. Be careful not to cut yourself. They are really sharp and you can insure yourself. When it is positioned, then you take the knife holder and you put it on. You bring it 
in the exactly position and with the help of a plastic or rubber hammer you can position it totally close and fixed till the point that you slowly can bring in the bolts to hold the knife holder on position. You have just to fix the bolts hand tightened because later on you have to do the adjustment. The adjustment you can do after the change of the rotating knives. For that reason, bring the knife now in position. Now we proceed to open the bolts of the rotating knives. Also there we use the torque wrench so we have a better power. We open all the bolts and then we start to screw them out. The knives, you have normally three of them in there, have to have all three the same size. So it is needed that you bring them to sharpen on a machine which guarantee you that when they came out of there, that they are all exactly the same knives cannot be that one is one centimeter more and the other one centimeter less. That's extremely. But what I want to tell you is, please make sure that the guy who sharpen your knives make all of three of the exactly same size. Because later on the registration is based on that fact. When you have unscrewed all the bolts, you can take out the knife control, substitute with a new one or with a sharpened one to have later on good cutting results. All this job please do with protections for your hands because new knives normally are really cutting. You can see it is a simple job it is not necessary to be a mechanic with special education. It is enough to know the basics of mechanic and you can handle all. The new knife now you put again in the right position. You have to control that the cutting edge is looking down. You bring in the bolts by hand. You tighten them hand strong. And then with the use of the torque wrench, you fix them on the indicated parameters you can find in the maintenance book. It don't do sense not to tighten them well because during the operation can happen that the screws open and that will damage your machine. To tighten them in security, put in a hammer or a wooden piece to block the knives and then you can put on the torque wrench with the right strength. It is dangerous when the knives during that operation start to rotate. Now you close it on the right power. And you are ready to control if the distance to the stator knife is okay. That will be done with a spacer. We use in that film a metal spacer, but the spacer can be also a piece of paper that is in general the right distance you have to keep between the knives. And um, you have to rotate and look that the spacer don't get cut it, but touched touched on the left side, on the middle and on the right side exactly on the same way. With the small registration bolts you can see in the back, you can obtain that distance 
moving them slowly and always controlling from left to right, from right to left, from all the length of the cutting knife. You cannot do just in the middle. It has to be clear that all three knives pass on the same distance to each edge on the fixed knife. You can see on that space of use that you have been touching but not cutting and so we have the right distance. Now you can close, fix the knives. The bolts of the stator knife can be closed totally. The registration is done and the machine is going to be ready to be used. This operation, like I told before, can happen that you have to do it. Often it depends about the quality of your cable. Now you close the machine again by bending in front the dose of hopper. You lift up the support for the grinding grid and you close it. Please make sure that the grid perfectly fitted in the support, close your machine and you can start. Enjoy your good day. Have a nice job.